Okay, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to restain these antlers. Um, these were in the woods, and pretty much all the brown has faded out of them. It's like there's really no color left to them. They're in really good shape. They're not chalky. If your antlers are white and chalky and stuff, it's, this is probably not going to work very well. But these are really good solid shape. There's no gnaw marks on it or anything from uh, squirrels or chipmunks or anything like that. So I'm going to stain these back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of warm water in a pill bottle. And this is potassium permanganate. Uh, you can actually order this from... Research Mannequins is the only place that I found that actually carries it. Used to be able to get it in several different locations, but uh, now that's the only catalog I found that it actually carries this. And I think basically all well, what this is and stuff is like an iron oxide type of stuff, but it sh doesn't take very much. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there, because this little container will make two to three quarts. And the strange thing about this stuff is when you actually apply it, it's purple and it dries brown. So when you first start putting it on there and stuff, you don't want to get all wigged out and think something's seriously wrong when it's not. And I want to get some newspapers and lay down here because I don't want to get this stuff all over because I'm sure it's going to stain pretty bad. If I need to, I'll mix a little bit more up. I'm going to put the lid on there. Let's just kind of mix that up a little bit. And I'm definitely going to put some gloves on because, like I said, this stuff's probably going to stain pretty bad. So, I got a pair of gloves. And I'm going to actually mount these antlers on a board. So I've got the uh, form here. And I've got the board over there also. So let's lay out our newspaper. And I do have a paintbrush for this. I did buy a new did buy a new paintbrush. So let me back this off a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Hopefully this shows up okay. I may have should have gotten a little more light on here, but it's like I said, if this isn't dark enough I can always mix up a little bit more. here also and stuff in case I need to wipe a little excess off of this. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. Yeah, I think so. As you can see, it's purple. This is some weird stuff. stronger, I think. See, this is until it's really, really purple. <laughs> and I'm going to get more down around the bases of this. And then I'll just kind of brush it up the antlers. Kind of freaks you out when you see this color on here. It's like, oh my lord. And these are about a set of the about gnarliest looking antlers I have ever seen as far as the rough stuff down at the bottom of these. And 
skin. I'm just brushing it up the antlers and then going a little bit lighter when I get uh, towards the tips of them. And I, I need to, I can go back over these several times to darken them back up. But let me show you, and it is getting all over the table. <laughs> and I'll show you what this kind of looks like after I've uh, mixed this up a little bit. And you can mix this, I've just got mine mixed with a little bit of warm water, so I have a little bit longer drying time. Or you can mix this with rubbing alcohol. I wanted a little longer working time, so that's why I've mixed mine with the water instead of the alcohol. So I'll show you the difference here in just a second between the two of them. So like I said, these antlers, antlers were in really good shape, so. Okay. Weird stuff, ain't it? And it doesn't take very much of it. It's like I said, I would rather go a little bit light now and go back over it if I need to. If I put too much on there, it would be a lot harder to take it back off. Like I said, you always want a little darker at the bases. I hope you can kind of see this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Stuff looks just about like beet juice. This is if you're going to stain antlers. I think this actually works on reproductions as well. But if you're going to uh, stain antlers, this is probably about the best that you can get as far as getting like a uh, natural color to these is to use this potassium permanganate. So you kind of see, but it does definitely. It turns them around. There is no purple to it. Like I said, I'm gonna. I may end up wiping a little of this off at the tips of the antlers, or take a little bit of steel wool. But let me show you the difference already. Get this camera and hold it up. Okay. Back it off. Okay, and this is the unstained side. You can see, and this is the side that's got the uh, potassium permanganate on it. So like I said, I may take a little steel wool and just buff these ends just a tiny bit. But you can see in stuff already the difference in the color. But it works really well. So like I said, I'm going to go down around the bases of these where this is all rough because this is normally just a tad bit darker than the rest of the antler will be. So, I'll go ahead and do the other side, and you can watch that, and I'll probably speed up the other side since you've already seen this side.
Isn't this weird? <laughs> and try to brush with the growth of the antlers. Got a little sticker right here. So this little container, like I said, will make two to three quarts of this stuff, and it's only like two dollars and eighty-five cents or something. So it's very, very economical. And I'm not worried about getting it on the skull part itself or anything like that, because I'm gonna that's gonna go on that form, and then I will go over that with mache and actually uh, sculpt that before I put it back on the plaque. And then it'll all be covered with a suede. Listen, my uh, my antler mounts are I think they're seventy-five or ninety, but it's not like an off-the-rack Walmart thing that really doesn't fit your antlers. This is custom made to the antlers that you actually have. Like I said, you want to make sure that your antlers are in good shape. So like I said, if they're chalky and stuff, it, this probably would not work. Or if it does, it's not probably not going to be a nice, nice quality like this. But these are in really nice, really, really nice shape. Okay. This really cracks me up, Patrick. Going's on purple and turns a completely different color. And try to make sure you don't have any big drips or anything. And I'll kind of go across, across the vein strips on this. Try to get it to stay down on that, uh, the ridges of this.
I think I'm just going to go over these just a little bit more in a few spots and then I'll darken it up and then we'll be back. Okay, this is pretty much dry right here. So in order to give this a little more depth so it's not flat, so it looks like it's actually been stained or anything, um, I just got some pretty fine steel wool. It's not the finest stuff. And I'm just going to rub this kind of over the high spots. And what this is going to do and stuff, it's going to kind of just take a little bit of that off. Because like I said, stuff, I don't want it to look flat and I don't want it to look like it's actually been stained. So let's see. See if I can show you exactly what I'm. See if I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. All well, these spots right here. It's like I said, stuff. Just, just kind of knock, hit some of those high spots. Just take a little bit of that off. It's like I said, you can see and stuff. There's some high spots through here. So if I just take this and just kind of rub on there. And it takes just a little bit of that off. It's like I said, stuff, if uh, the deer, deer go out and rub and stuff, any of those high spots are going to be knocked down anyway. It's not going to have that brown color. And I'll hit the tips of just a little bit more to take a little bit more of that color off. It's like I said, you, to give it three-dimensional, I don't want it to look flat. And so that's why I'm doing this. And these little real nubby spots... I may take it like just a little bit of sandpaper and kind of hit those because if I rub it with this steel wool, it's just going to rip this steel wool to shreds. So like I said, I don't think that's going to work with the steel wool. No, I'll just hit that a little bit with the, uh, a little bit of sandpaper. But you can just kind of see what it looks like. So like I said, it has a little more of a, let me see if I can, it has a little bit more of a uh, three-dimensional look now, instead of just the flat, because here's where I've actually kind of sanded it just a little bit, or took the steel wool to it, and you can see the variations where the high spots are, and let me spin this around, and this is where I haven't done anything to it, and you guess like you said, as you can see and stuff, it's still kind of a, just kind of a flat, flat brown. And the, anything that you're seeing is light and, you know, like this, looks like it's lighter. That's actually from the light bulbs. It's not actually from the antlers. And then I'll hit this just a little bit more, lighten that up some. Let's stay tuned and stuff. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. But you can see and stuff that it looks, looks pretty good. <laughs> it's like I said, hitting these uh, bases a little extra. Give a little bit darker down in that nubbin. So, all right. Hopefully, that's back. close enough where you can see what I'm doing here. You'll see how these. Uh, and I'm just barely hitting this, just enough to take a little bit of that color off. But you can see how the those nubbins are turning back white. And that's what I want. I don't want to sand them too much because I don't want to really change the uh, texture of them or anything but I do want to bring up those highlights and really this really hasn't taken any time to do this like I said that uh, potassium permanganate stains, stains really quick and easy so okay like I said, I'm just going to hit this just real light just to bring up the highlights on those bumps. I'm not sure there's some big technical term for what those things are called, but don't ask me. <laughs> I just mount the deer and do taxidermy work. I don't know what the technical terms are. i rip the hell out of the paper, you can see. Alright. Let's see, these are really brown here. Like I said, 
this little thing here. I'm gonna get it pretty good. All right. And I think that's probably, I've just about got it. And I think we'll call that done. Let's back off and show you what the whole thing looks like. I'll just pick this up so you can see it at a distance. So, there you go. And then I'll have another series of videos showing me actually putting that on the, uh, the board and the form and stuff and doing the mache work on that. So, stay tuned for the rest of the videos. Thanks for watching.